Well, I'm in the Wulong district here, up in the mountains. And what do I see in the distance? Another fantastic bridge being built. And behind me here is a temporary construction bridge, which is just over 250 meters long. And it's quite beautiful. And the width of it, not very big, only four and a half meters. Well, it's not unusual lately that I've been standing in front of signs like this, which basically means keep out. Around this bend here is something very interesting, and it plays a key role in the Chongqing Changsha Expressway. I'm not going to give that secret up yet. Now, how serious is it? Well, about three minutes ago on my journey up to this area, with permission, I received a notification on my phone that said, follow the rules. So at the moment, this area is a restricted area. Hands off, forbidden, don't come in here. Now, why is that construction bridge so important? And we're gonna show you the beautiful footage now, is because it is an integral part of bringing equipment, machinery, cement, you name it, across this bridge to construct this expressway, which is in the Chongqing region, 285 kilometers long at a cost of, I think last time I read, over 64 billion UN. And another interesting point, it was started in 2020 and it's only, get ready listeners, it's only going to take four to six years. That's not 46, four to six years to complete it. And it will connect into the Hunan region. We call it the Chongqing Changsha Freeway. Now you can just see behind me the magnitude of this construction. Look at this bridge. Towering hundreds of meters in the air. This is probably one of the most complicated terrains to do construction in. And that's why it's so difficult to get vehicles up here. And we just came back from that beautiful temporary suspension bridge. Now here is an interesting comparison. This bridge here can handle us humans no problem. The one that we showed you before can hold over 40 tons. That's right, cement trucks, big dump trucks, stuff like that, no problem. But what a contrast to see both in the Wulan region, a beautiful pedestrian walkway uh, suspension bridge and one that can hold over 40 tons. Of course, in Wulong, we have canals. We have high little bridges to find a restaurant. If you're afraid of heights, Wulong is not going to be the best place to bring you, okay? Because now I'm walking. Let me get my thoughts together now. Uh, you can see behind me here that I'm sure this uh, fills up with water. This could even be a storm drain, but you see the big place. But look at that beautiful mountains in the background there. The topography here in Wulong is incredible and all these little restaurants stacked up. I'm on the hunt for some nice, maybe Kung Pao chicken, I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna go meet some friends. Now this is interesting. We drove on a beautiful highway on the way out here and we're about two and a half, three hours outside of the center of Chongqing. I gotta tell ya, I kinda like these quirky little villages here. I Well, this is not a little village, probably a few hundred thousand, but from Chinese standards, or sizes, it is a village. But anyway, uh, we're gonna hop into the car and I'll talk to you guys at the next restaurant. There's my friends here, we're at a great table. So what do we call this in China? What's this? We call it a Lazy Susan in uh, in the West. What, what do you guys call it? Round table. Rolling. Rolling table. And below me here is the Wuzhang River, which is we call it the Black River. So I want to thank you guys for actually joining me here for a dinner. As you know, we're in Southwest China. Things may be a little bit different here than other parts. I'm hearing that these are for personal consumption sticks. These are for the public. Now that means grabbing from the dishes that rotate around in this fantastic table. This is for the bones and everything. This could be for the napkins. 
and this is, I'm gonna call this the party bowl. That's where all the food and fun action happens. I just wanna ask you guys, what is this table called in your country? Well, that's gonna round it off for this fantastic vlog that I've had here in Wulong. And well, it's not over yet because I'm gonna continue to bring you more of Alex in the Wulong district. Get ready for part two because we're going in to the nature. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.